In a thrilling matchup last week, Texas A&M showcased an impressive offensive display, putting up a whopping 52 points. This performance raised eyebrows, especially when you consider that in three non-conference games last year, they managed only 51 points against FBS opponents. It's clear that under the guidance of new head coach Bobby Petrino, the Aggies have taken their offensive game to another level. One of the key questions going into this game is whether Miami can stretch the field offensively. Last week, they faced a defense that employed a lot of soft coverage, with defenders dropping deep to keep everything in front of them. Consequently, quarterback Tyler Van Dyke's passing attempts largely stayed under 10 yards downfield, with only two attempts exceeding 20 yards. One resulted in an interception, while the other yielded a 26-yard gain. To succeed against Texas A&M, it's imperative that Miami diversifies its passing attack and takes more shots downfield, leveraging the talent in their receiving core. The biggest challenge for Miami will be dealing with Texas A&M's deep and talented wide receiver group. Evan Stewart stands out as a phenomenal talent with remarkable speed, explosiveness, and polished skills. Noah Thomas, a 6 feet 6 inches receiver who had an impressive week 1 performance, adds a significant red zone threat with his height. Additionally, Moose Muhammad and Aeneas Smith provide Miami with dependable, versatile options. Smith, in particular, can move around the field and create mismatches. On the defensive front, Miami's new defensive coordinator, Lance Guidry, faces the tough task of neutralizing Texas A&M's potent receiving core. Guidry has a track record of success in stifling opposing quarterbacks, as evidenced by Marshall's strong pass efficiency defense and low opponent yards per passing attempt rankings last year. Despite the challenge, Miami's experienced defensive backfield could be a saving grace. Players like Cam Kitch and a solid set of safeties will look to disrupt Texas A&M's passing game. With a wealth of experience on the perimeter, Miami aims to counter the Aggies' impressive receiving talent. While Miami has shown improvement from the previous year, Texas A&M's overall talent and offensive prowess could prove to be too much for them. The Aggies, led by a strong offensive line and capable quarterback Connor Wigman, are favored in this matchup. If they can replicate last week's performance, especially in terms of quick distribution and run-after-catch situations, Texas A&M looks set to secure a notable victory. In conclusion, Texas A&M's explosive offense and Miami's quest to diversify their passing game set the stage for an exciting clash. With a talented receiving core and a solid defense, the Aggies hold the edge, but football often surprises, and Miami could still make this a thrilling contest.